the most lethal volcano on Earth, Mount Nyiragongo's deadly secret. Rising high above the city of Goma in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Nyiragongo isn't just another volcano. Its lava is unlike any other, hot, fluid, and dangerously fast. When Niragongo erupts, it doesn't explode like most volcanoes. It pours, sending rivers of molten fire racing down its slopes faster than a man can run. In 2002, the mountain awakened. Without warning, glowing lava tore through Goma's streets. Entire neighborhoods vanished beneath fire. Over 200 people lost their lives, and more than 100,000 lost their homes. The city was left smoldering, a silent reminder of what this volcano can do. But the real danger lies deep inside. At the heart of Niragongo sits a vast, boiling lava lake, one of the largest and most active on the planet. Its surface temperature exceeds 1-200 degrees Celsius. And beneath it, scientists believe there's a massive underground network of magma channels stretching far below the city of Goma itself. If the crust beneath that lava lake were to collapse, it could trigger an instant eruption, a flood of lava so fast, no one could escape. In just a few hours, an entire city could be wiped off the map. Yet despite this constant threat, life continues at the foot of the volcano. Over two million people live in Goma, in the very shadow of Niragongo. Farmers, shopkeepers, families, all living on the edge of potential catastrophe. For them, eruption isn't a question of if, but when. They climb the crater's edge, risking their lives to collect data, measure gas emissions, and study the movement of magma below. It's alive, and it changes faster than science can track. Some volcanologists warn that the next eruption could be 10 times more powerful than the one in 2002. A scenario they call the Doomsday Flow haunts every simulation. Within minutes, molten rock begins to surge downhill, picking up speed, 60 kilometers per hour or more. The lava reaches Goma's edge before most people even realize what's happening. Tens of thousands try to flee, but the roads are already fire. Every sunrise over the volcano's rim is a reminder of both danger and resilience. They live, love, and dream under one of the deadliest volcanoes on Earth, because leaving would mean giving up everything. Mount Niragongo remains silent for now. But deep beneath the surface, its fire is waiting. When it awakens again, will we be ready?